Yeah, so Mike and I are on another adventure today, and uh, we just started digging, and I found a nice little flat button that I wanted to show Mike, so he's all excited, and hopefully we'll find some more stuff just like it, maybe some Civil War things. But yeah, it's oh, sort of might be a little Indian head, but it's actually just a flat button. That's a good start, though. It, it's a real good start, and you know, I've actually I do, I've been digging some uh, cans and stuff in the ground, too, so this... Yeah. This has been hunted, but not that anything hard. On that at all? Huh? Is there anything on it like? I haven't really. You can check it if you want. Or 1812, or just gonna be a pretty six. flat, huh? Pretty cool though. Smooth. What pipe? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, man. 1790s. Yeah. Era. That's pretty. Very cool. nice. Colonial. <laughs> awesome right, Keep going. <laughs> good luck Keep going. to you so anyway yeah i think we're doing pretty good off to a good start a... go what shotgun shell was it buried 12th georgia <laughs> <laughs> you got a shotgun shell but it was buried so that means other people missed it so this particular farm i've, I've uh, actually got my first permission here back in the 80s and i hunted it on and off over the years it's been hit pretty hard especially by other people so um <laughs> <laughs> Finding a flat button is pretty exciting right now. So this might just turn into a really good day. Right here, right there is where I found the flat button. I came down to here and got a nice big signal and dug it up. And looky there. That is the um, trigger guard to a musket. Now this is a big camping area for the Civil War soldiers. I found a lot of bullets and a few plate belt buckles and other stuff here. And uh, that's a nice, big, old, beautiful trigger guard i think mike will go nuts when he sees this <laughs> that's awesome let's go show him get anything yet no it's good that's yeah, kind of neat i mean i like it is that the oh my god <laughs> pretty awesome man what it's awful, yeah musket that's an infield get out pretty cool isn't it that's exactly yeah. what that is this would have had like a little chain you know what it went Congrats. We're on it, man. Awesome. We're on it. Can, you, I, can you, I film that real quick? Yeah, too? sure. You, you know, you're welcome to come over there, too. Yeah, dude. To the hot spot. Dude. So Mike's going crazy. What you got? Go look at that. What is it? I think it's a, a savage. Really? It's a savage. Yeah, I see the rifling. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh. Most awesome. That gave off a crazy signal. Yeah, I bet it's brass. Oh, my God. I'm excited, man. <laughs> I can, yeah. I can tell. <laughs> you ever been in this field before? I've never been in this particular is field. That what that First is? time. Is yeah, 100%. 100%. Like, that's freaking <laughs> awesome, man. I'm almost there. I know it's just artillery, but I don't oh, no. much artillery. It's cool, yeah. I love artillery. That's my. You know, you're that way. I love yeah. artillery. Man. Yeah, 100%, this man. That's insane. freaking awesome. Man. Most awesome, dude. Congrats. <laughs> Oh God, dude. I like digging with you. You're like, ah! You get so excited. That's nuts. I need that. At first, I thought so I'm going to be digging all the uh, iron in here too, the bigger iron. And I just dug this. I think this is going to be like a handle to a utensil of some sort, maybe like a little frying pan or whatnot. Has that shape right here, like a handle shape, and it's broken off. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going to be. Although I'm not 100%, but it definitely. Definitely not like a piece of farm uh, wagon. So that's a nice little find. We're still on it. Big squeak here, and I went ahead and dug it. And it's uh, copper wire. I'm gonna imagine this is probably off of the telephone lines, like in old, older ones that we're, we're here now, because there are overhead lines nearby. I suspect there were no railroads here during the Civil War, so it wouldn't be wouldn't be telegraph wire. So this is kind of an interesting uh, piece of iron I just dug. Now this could very well be farm related and it could be post-Civil War. Uh, I just wanted to show it to you because I had no idea what it is. It looks maybe an axle went through there or something, some type of axle. I, I really don't know. But it's nice and heavy. He's got that uh, cut in it right there. So, yeah. Heck, I'm kind of thinking that might be post-Civil War. <laughs> Maybe 1960. <laughs> it's hard to say with this one. Mike's up on the hill digging. Looks like he's uh, digging quite a bit. I'm not sure what he's getting yet, but... Uh, I just dug this piece of iron, and this is uh, pretty sure going to be an artillery shell fragment from the American Civil War. Probably a uh, Hotchkiss. 
but I could be mistaken, but I'm almost, almost certain that's what it is. A nice Civil War artifact. Going to be digging this iron because you never know what could be next. Maybe a whole cannonball down five feet. And of course, there wouldn't be a day metal detecting without half of a horseshoe. <laughs> it's kind of a weird one, though. It's, uh, you can see the nails, so it's definitely a horseshoe, but that round, how thick it is, really thick in that rounded, roundedness is odd. Very strange. It's not too far from where I found the uh, piece of the musket over there. I got a little kind of squeaker here, and I can see a disc. I suspect it's going to be a shotgun shell, but I thought I'd get you out, and we'll look at it together. Could be a button. What oh, shotgun shell. Uh, as soon as you see that like little circle on the inside, especially if it has a, a little uh, uh, divot in it, that's where the firing pin hit, you know it's a shotgun shell. Uh, but still, that's a, that's a good sounding signal. Uh, would sound very much like a Civil War button. So, a little disappointed, but still hopeful. I have here what we call a hot rock. And it uh, gives off a signal. And this is probably uh, the remains of like burned uh, coke or coal. You find these in farm fields a lot, but you also find them in Civil War areas, act, you know, where they had, uh, especially they had like forges for the cavalry or the artillery forges. You'll find lots of chunks of these, but could be civilian from after the war when they would run steam engines out here for like the old steam tractors and whatnot. Uh, it could be from that, I suppose, as well. I just found a small caliber round ball. Uh, this could be from a pistol, a pistol shot. And I suspect it probably is uh, kind of small. So I'm, I'm thinking it's probably a pistol shot. 45 caliber, more or less. Or 44. That's what they had back then. One of the calibers. So Mike and I have been uh, detecting for about an hour and a half since I last talked to you. Uh, he's kind of gone off, and I'm just not really finding a whole lot that, uh, well, nothing I wanted to show you. This is the first thing that is a little bit different that you guys might find when you're out detecting. It's got like a big spring right there, spring steel, and usually a doodad sticking out. You know what this is? This is a part of a hay rake. There's a, a piece of equipment where it had a whole bunch of these, and when you drive the tractor, this thing spins around and it rakes up loose hay that's been caught and wind rows it into one area so that the baler can come by, hay baler, and easily scoop it up and put it into a hay bale. So you do find a lot of these in farm fields pretty much all over. Uh, not a great find, not a great find, right, Mikey? <laughs> Here's some live ammo for you. This is probably lost by a deer hunter. Yeah, pretty neat, man. Most excellent. It's a lot of iron in this area right here, and I just dug this. A piece of it, it's an axe. This is an axe head that's broken, but this is a very old style, so this could date to the Civil War, or actually, uh, you know, 100 years before that. So I finally got a Civil War bullet. This is a Sharps bullet. Uh, cavalry, probably. Breech loader. Here, a troll train in the distance is awesome. <laughs> so happy we got something else from the Civil War, American Civil War. Most excellent. I think this is a piece of it, like a kettle, or like a frying pan, the base of it. So there may have been a campsite here, Civil War campsite, or actually, or even a home site. So I just found an in interesting mini ball right here. Now this is a three ring mini ball. Kind of looks like it's been fired and it's really messed up. Yeah, I'd say that's fire because you can see the rifling where the rifling grooves are cut in just barely and it's kind of red and I think that's an indication that that's rust. I've seen it before where rifling uh, grooves or lands and grooves would have rust on them. Not 100% but that's definitely that's definitely going to be a Civil War era uh, bullet of some sort that's been fired. So here's a big old something. It's iron. Probably hollow right there but I don't know for sure very heavy you can see there's some black on there right there i noticed in the dirt it looks like there might have been some charcoal so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna dig down here and check it with the pinpointer make sure we don't have some type of trash pit here or something because uh, that's always a possibility don't see any bullets from here but they'd be way down there so i have a pretty deep iron signal down there i don't know if that's going to be an old civil war item or an old piece of farm equipment you know, it almost looks like a picket pin from here, doesn't it? Not too small for a picket pin. Um, 
this might be an old piece of rebar <laughs> i'm not sure uh i'll go ahead and, let me go ahead and dig it up and uh, we'll look at it together all right so i got the thing out of the ground and it uh, uh it's not rebar but it's like a, just a chunk of iron of some sort it could be civil war era it could be much more modern i'm not sure but it was down there quite a ways I'll definitely check the hole, make sure there's not like a trash pit full of bottles and belt buckles down there, but um, I don't have high hopes. <laughs> so I just found some sort of harness buckle right here. This is an iron buckle. That could be Civil War era or it could be before or after. A uh, big camp in this field though, so I'm leaning slightly toward some type of Civil War era, uh, era buckle of some sort. So I had a nice little squeaker here and I uh, popped the ground open. And I can see it. Can you see it? That looks like a Civil War bullet of some sort. I don't know if that's going to be a, a breech loader or a muzzle loader. It's kind of small. No, it's going to be a 58 caliber mini ball. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow, nice. That's a first dropped 58 caliber American Civil War mini ball. Tell us a mini ball because it has three rings or three grooves actually. One, two, three. And the base has to have that cone shape like that and if it has those uh, at least those two things that pretty much means it's a by definition uh, mini ball anyway we're going to go ahead and look around here a little bit closer mike unfortunately went up over the hill uh, if we find another one or two i'll give him a holler <laughs> most awesome another nice little uh, squeaker in here and hopefully it's going to be a bullet or a button. Ah, there it is. That, my friend, is a another mini ball. Another drop mini ball. Most excellent. All right, if we find one more, I'll call it for Mike, who's over the hill. One more. <laughs> just one more. I mean, he was here just like five minutes ago, so I don't know where he went. So I just found a little bullet, but it is a 22 caliber probably a modern bullet now they did have 22 calibers during the civil war american civil war but i don't think that's what that is i think that's going to be a more modern one definitely fired probably somebody's out here shooting at groundhogs so mike says he might have a nice little find down here let's uh like let's check it out barrel band that's it. oh 100 percent yeah yeah have you picked it up yet it popped out i didn't do anything okay i'm, I'm not going to touch it before you touch it all right here we go it's very important <laughs> all right guys uh Bo called me over he's getting some bullets over here so uh, i decided to come over in this area and swing and i think i got a uh what's called a barrel band off of a civil war musket they have there would be like a little adjustment screw here at the top i believe that would tighten that down on the band right or yeah 100 percent. that's if a you, first for me if you look this right here that's where the steel barrel would have gone through right there there's a little notch there a little right? notch yeah. and the bottom would have been the wood where the wood was attached you know that's held the wood for me on. i know it's just the oh band. most I'm, awesome I'm happy. Can yeah you tell what it be from probably springfield maybe? it's really hard to say but you know we could look it up i'm happy with that <laughs> well it's awesome <laughs> my friend and that's why i like to dig iron when i'm in civil war camps because you can find neat little things like that that if you're just skipping over the iron looking for the bullets and the buttons and the gold coins you'll never find those things and they're pretty cool good history right there man good history so i might have something interesting here the signal started out a little naughty but it started to get a little nicer once i got it out of the ground and i'm looking at this cloud of dirt and if you look here of course i could be crazy but it looks like that might be kind of brassy colored so i'm hoping it could be a button or something in here or a uh a uh, musket sling hook what is it it is probably a button of some sort all right so it's got a shank on the back so it's a one piece button could be flat it could be a state button could have a little design on it. i'm going to give it a little rub just a wee one because i can't wait to see what it is all right so it definitely has a design on it and if you look closely i think it's like a like a hatch uh, or a little checkerboard design so this is probably going to be a civilian button could have been worn during the civil war the uh confederate soldiers especially wore a lot of civilian buttons but it could uh predate the war i don't think it's any newer than that though all right kind of exciting there for a second but i don't see any starbursts on there or anything like that 
Mike Caller and he wanted me to come down and see, uh, take a look at something he found. What you get? I think it's a trigger. See it? Oh yeah. That trigger? Yeah, that's a brass one too. Brass uh, plate on it, so that could be an Enfield. Signal because it's brass. Really? And this is the iron. Iron, yeah. Like you said, all you need to get a barrel now, we can have a That's complete. That's a small one too, isn't it? Yeah, nice brassy, greeny. Congratulations, man. That's cool, man. <laughs> this, this is crazy. That's awesome, you yeah. That can I see that yeah, go ahead, buddy. I'm pretty sure it looks period, I think. Oh, 100%. Okay. There's no doubt. I mean, this is a big now, camp right here. So. When I clean this, what would you just take a brush to it and leave it? Yeah, it's hard to say. You know, the iron can be di very difficult. Okay. Um, but don't take it off. You know, leave it all together, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it might, like, stay together fine, but, yeah, I'd clean it. I'd brush it with soapy water. Any and, idea what it's from? I, no, I, I, I don't remember these things very well. Very well Me but. neither. I know it's part to a gun. Oh, that's a kid's toy. Is it? Oh, no. <laughs> You're doing the same thing to me you did last time with the gas fitting. With the sword handle. <laughs> I remember that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mike. No, it's You're all so right. gullible, man. Uh, it's fun, man. <laughs> oh, that's a great find. Fun, yeah, uh, you're doing good. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm still working this bottom area uh, where Mike was finding the gun parts and I uh, cut a couple bullets. I just came across this, which uh, when I originally dug it, I thought it might be part of a, like a grate to a stove, but I'm not so sure. Let's look more like gears, like teeth. Not gears, but teeth that will go in a gear or something. So I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it's very likely Civil War related, but it's not a gun tool. So I have an interesting sounding uh, target here. Uh, let's listen to it real quick. Um, it's big and it's iron, and I'm very hopeful it's going to be something good. See, I got the hole down almost to the plow line, probably, but there's something big and juicy down in there. Uh -oh. And it's still deeper. And uh, well, I was reading like 48 artillery shell signal so. uh, well i mean that's the signal i'm getting but and it's below the plow line so i'm very hopeful and i'm not to it yet because the uh, pinpoint is not going crazy so so we're getting closer but we're still not quite to it it's probably our barrel mike <laughs> okay. i had no idea all right so i got the whole dog and that's what it was big old piece of roundish iron bent on a 90. <laughs> that could be from a tractor. Notice how it's beveled right there. Looks like a pin you drop into a hole. Oh, that sucked. Kind of weird. I'm not getting through a layer that looks like I went through the plow line, though. So I'm not sure what's going on. But I'll, I'll double check the hole just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure that's all it is. I think we might have a good target here. Hopefully it's at least a bullet. Right in here. It's uh, giving a pretty good squonk. <laughs> All right, you see it? I don't see anything yet. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be iron. Get the pinpointer out. See if we can narrow it down. <gasps> it's over in here. See it? Well, that's weird. It's in here, but I... <laughs> oh, no. All right, so it is a uh, bullet. Uh, small bullet, small caliber. I can tell by looking at it with that one single ring right there and the way the rifling looks that that's a what we call a modern post-Civil War era uh, bullet that's been fired. So nice chunk of lead, but not what we're looking for. So it looks like we got a nice 69 caliber musket ball. That's a round ball. Um, that's going to be from the American Civil War for sure. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so another bullet, different kind, pretty nice. Oh, well, Mike, I'm not sure what this is. Um, I think it's related, or is it just a bolt, like a nut? Well, it's a weird metal. It's almost like a white, metal, almost like a pewter or white metal yeah, or something. It's down I, about eight inches. I don't recognize it as being a Civil War item okay. that I would expect to find, but it could be. Right. You know, clean it up a little bit. What we're finding out here. It's yeah, I, I just don't know heavy yeah it is nice right. find yeah thank you. So this isn't the most wonderful finds but i just wanted to show it to you because this is a piece of melted lead or what we'd call camp lead uh this was so uh, they would have had campfires right in this general area this was left over from uh, probably a bullet or two that melted into a little blob 
Very typical in a Civil War camp uh, where they stayed overnight or at least cooked food. So Mike says he might have a good button. So let's go over here and see what he has. What is it? Here, you want to do it? You, you're <laughs> used to it. I'm it's afraid I'll mess it, mess it up. Should I use my pants? Sure. It's ruined. Is it? Actually, I don't see anything on it now. Is it just going to be a plain Jane? It might be a plain Jane. <gasps> There's some gold gilt on the back of that, though. Yeah. Look at that. I'm more interested in the other side there, there I know. Here, I'll let you. Uh, I'm, too, I'm too nervous. All right, what I'm going to do is uh, put my spectacles on. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll get back to you. I'll put my glasses on. All right, so we got the button cleaned up, and the back is absolutely gorgeous, but I don't think there's anything on the front. That color. Yeah, it's very shiny. It's probably solid gold on the back. It is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be like an earlier. You don't normally see you button. don't normally see a button with that much. Yeah, it must we're have been a good a, one. We're going to get a maker mark off there, too. I see some words. Yeah. Probably just says yeah, guilt. See, yeah, I see yeah, guilt. Yeah, it's really bright and shiny. <laughs> Very cool, man. Most awesome. You know, if you got a signal like that, all you seen was that, you think you had a gold. Oh, gold, yeah, you know? I guarantee it. That thing is really gold looking. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just shiny. Day, it's been fun. Yeah. We're going to get back out here again, yeah. I hope. Yeah. After right. the snowstorm. Yeah, we got. you could see it. Look. Yeah. You could see the. It's starting to come in. You can see the stratus cloud, they call yeah. them, before a storm comes. Yeah. Here it comes. So here's what we're going to do. Right, oh, yeah. We're going to go. Uh, I want to go back. He's going to try to help me identify the, uh, the Sabbath piece I found. We're still up in the air on what kind of uh, shell that came from, and he thinks he might have one. So we're stay tuned. We're going to do a wrap up at his place and look at that. Yeah, so. Just just a couple minutes away. Yeah. See you in a little bit. All right. So that's it for today. We finally made it back to my place. We've got a few things set out here. I want to show you. So you can you know, see Mike's finds, right? <laughs> you see most of them, but yeah. yeah. So let's take a look at what we have. Right. Particularly, this is some of the stuff I found. This is a lot of the, you know, the junk. You've seen pretty much everything. To include like the horseshoe and that's a piece of a pot hot rock nice lightweight thing uh, a couple things here you've seen all of this stuff few bullets yep you've seen it all look at mike stuff because I, I don't think we've seen all of this uh, he's got some camp lead fired bullets this is a really nice button the back of it's just really <laughs> gold i mean it yeah. looks really good it's gonna have it doesn't have, have anything on the front i don't believe is that gilt uh actually have gold in it yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I wondered about Pretty that. Thin. It looks awful shiny. And uh, of course, this. And I wanted to show you this is the Sabo that he found, or Savit. Yeah. Um, it, it, the reason why we pronounce them two different ways. Nowadays, everyone says Sabo. That's correct French pronunciation. Um, you know, in the military, they say Sabo. But back when relic hunting was first out uh, back in the 70s and 60s 70s and 80s everyone called it a sabbat it's kind of like your bullets S -A -B -O -T. too yeah. we call it a sabbat but now the military is using them a lot um it's a different type of thing but it's called a sabo so i get in trouble every time i say sabbat <laughs> like the old relic hunters so i say sabo now it's kind of like the mini balls i mean they, it's Mene ball, the same right? thing yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so this is that one thing that mike found that's the sabo and this is a shell this is a brawn this is a confederate shell i don't believe it goes to the, this is a i don't believe that sabo goes to a brawn but i just wanted to show you what it would look like actually on the artillery shell that would be cast up inside there like that and when it's fired you can see it's smooth right now when it's fired the rifling would grab the brass cut into it and make it spin and that's what you can see right there this is a 20 pound parrot i believe this is going to yeah. be to a 20 pound parrot shell and not a bronze shell yeah this wrench. is a little uh, <laughs> musket wrench left. <laughs> yeah that would they would adjust the nipple with that yeah this, this would this is a musket wrench you hear me talk about these a lot in my videos and that's why i dig iron because i want to find yeah i want to find musket wrenches there's not much even though not much it. left to this uh, one uh, but, usually pretty bad yeah this would uh have a little thing on the end that so you could take the nipple out of the musket and it also have uh screwdrivers and stuff on it yep. too it's like a little multi-tool basically for a musket so that's the a pre pretty nice little find. Percussion cap on, I believe. Yep, absolutely. And why would they want to keep the cap over that? Because they had to keep that clean, right? So it wouldn't keeps the dirt in the, keep the, dirt, in the, uh, the moisture. Moisture. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because if that gets down inside the musket, then uh, it won't fire. Right. All right, that's it. See you guys later. Yep. We'll get back out there once the snow come goes away. Yeah. Let's we'll see you then. Where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my 
big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep She don't care if you're dying Or if you're living Or somewhere in between Mother Earth you are my lady My big round baby And I'll rock you until I go to sleep She'll shake the coins from your pocket Take your gold chain and your locket Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand And keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby.